Are you a new player looking to get a head start? Are you a Saitama spammer that's getting destroyed? Maybe you bought a Game Pass and don't know how to use it. I'm here to show you some stuff about fighting in Saitama Battleground. I'll go through basic movement, the Saitama moveset, and the Garu moveset, which will soon be free, by the way. I know you all have the attention span of a goldfish, but if you want to succeed in this game, keep watching. Let's start with basic movement. I don't think I need to explain how to walk around. A really important feature is shift lock, which locks your cursor and allows you to look around you without holding left click. I'm not sure if this is on mobile. You cannot play the game properly without this feature. Press escape and go to settings to turn shift lock on. It's activated by simply pressing shift. You will want to enable these two features with the settings cog at the top left of the screen. Auto moves makes it so you only have to press the move key once instead of having to equip then click. Reduced screen shake really helps with all of the table flip spammers throwing you off. Dashing is really important. It's used by pressing Q. There is side dashing, which is done by holding either A or D and pressing Q, front dashing, which is done by being idle or walking forward and pressing Q, then back dashing, which is holding S and pressing Q. The front dash is the only dash that has a one-hit stun attack. It's incredibly useful as a combo starter and combo extender. A common mistake I see way too much is that people use the front dash without thinking. You cannot just dash at the opponent whenever you want. If you do that, they will probably easily block and counter every time. You need to incorporate better movement, like adding a side dash before front dash, which is what I typically use and what works for me 90% of the time. It's really important to have good eyes on your opponent so you can block attacks well. Punching or M1s are very important for starting, extending, and ending combos. You use them by simply left-clicking. Four M1s in a row will ragdoll the opponent and stun you for half a second. You typically want to avoid doing four M1s like this unless you have a move ready that can hit them when they're down. Three M1, hold space for the fourth M1, will do a mini uppercut. Three M1, jump, fourth M1 will do a drop kick slam ground pound type of thing. It's always best to do three M1s to start a combo, or three M1s and a mini uppercut depending on the move you're using. If you use four M1s and knock the opponent down, some moves won't work. Each move set comes with four moves. These may differ in many ways. If you have auto use enabled, you use moves by pressing one, two, three, and four. Each move set will also have an ultimate move or multiple ultimate moves. You can see when your ultimate move is ready to be used by looking at the red bar above your moves. When this is filled up, you can press G to activate it. You can change your move set by going to the top left of the screen. If you have the early access game pass, you will have access to whatever move set the developers are working on at that point in time. The Garu move set is currently still being finished. Let's look at Saitama's move set first. The first move, Normal Punch, has two uses. From afar, it does small knockback and damage. At point blank, it will do lots of damage and send the opponent flying also taking damage from landing. The second move, Consecutive Barrage, is a barrage of punches. The third move, Normal Shove, is a knockback. The fourth move, Normal Uppercut, is a strong uppercut that knocks back. I really should have mentioned this earlier. You block with the F key. Some moves break block. Your back is vulnerable to attacks during blocking, so watch out for people trying to circle around you with forward dash or walking. Now that I've shown all of Saitama's moves, let's do some combos. This is a pretty basic one. Three M1s followed by move two, which is followed by move three, forward dash, three M1s into mini uppercut, then move four. You can add to this to make it a near one-shot combo if you get lucky enough to be able to forward dash to the opponent after move four. I'm not going to deep dive into every combo possible. I'm sure there's other videos for that. It's time to talk about the ultimate moves. Each character has their own. Press G once the red bar at the bottom of the screen is filled up. For Saitama, you get to choose between two moves, Death Counter and Table Flip. Death Counter is a guaranteed one-shot kill. Once you activate it, for 10 seconds any attack that hits you will teleport you behind the attacker, and an animation will happen. The attacker will be instantly killed. Table Flip is an area of effect move. Anyone caught in its blast will be either taken to red health or killed. When used, a tiny shockwave will push back any players near you and stun them so they can't escape the attack.
That's pretty much all for Saitama. All of what I just showed is subject to change in the future, but most of what was said should still be accurate. Now it's time for Garu. Garu's moveset is called Hero Hunter. It has four moves, just like Saitama, but only one ultimate move. The first move, Flowing Water, is multiple hits followed up by a knockback. The second move, Lethal Whirlwind Stream, is a move that drags the opponent across the ground and slams them. The third move is Hunter's Grasp, a move that stomps the ground to trip the opponent, grab them, and throw them. The fourth move is Praise Peril, a counter move that when used right before getting hit by any attack, will counter with its own attack. Let's look at a combo. First you want to land three punches, mini uppercut into move one, side dash into move three, forward dash, three punches into mini uppercut into move two. It's not recommended to do combos like this where you use your two main attack moves at once, as you will be without them for a while. Garros' ultimate move is Rage Mode, an area of effect attack that's pretty much impossible to escape 99% of the time. It takes 40% of your opponent's health and heals you. For all the people out there saying the early access game pass is pay to win, it is most definitely not. The combo damage potential between the free move set and the paid is fairly equal, Saitama having much better ultimates that pretty much one shot every time. I know it sucks to get absolutely bodied by someone much better than you, but I suggest finding a different excuse. I have a few suggestions for a Saitama ultimate nerf. I would make it so Death Counter is like Praise Peril where it has a tiny animation, but it of course would have a larger window of effect. For Table Flip, I would just make it take you to red health pretty much every time, but it shouldn't kill you. To be good at this game, you need to get really good with your movement, dashes, blocking, etc. Knowing good combos is also very important. Try to make combos that work for you by combining movement with moves. That may sound vague, but you can just look at the combos I did earlier in the video as an example. I hope this video helped you to understand the game, understand why you're getting destroyed or whatever your situation is. Fun fact before you leave, this video was voiced by an AI text-to-speech. I wonder if at any point in the video that was given away. Well, that's all for now. See you later.